We're up early and moving this morning. We're on our way to Bell River to a fishing show. But oh, how the days have changed. Look at this. We got snow. Just the other day we were down in the creek fishing. And now, well, it's snowing again. But yesterday, we were at the farm making duck boxes for the wood ducks along the creek at Farmer Paul's place. So while I'm on my way to the Bell River, you guys can watch that. And then we're going to the fishing show. Whole saw and cut the hole here. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll mark it. I'll mark this out, and I'll I forget it's three and a half by four inches. I'll make a I'll make an oval. I'll cut a little template. Pencil it out, then just drill a hole, jigsaw hole in it. I put a couple of screws in the top of this to hold the lid down. And when you want to clean it out, we just open this up here. Yep, you pull the Blows screw, the screw out of the in there. Clean all the bedding out. Then I don't have to worry about the mice climbing up my arm when I go to clean them out. You can hear me scream like a little girl. Like last time. Yeah. Not that that ever no, happened. No, there was never, it's never, never happened, happened before. Yeah, it never happened before. Never happened before. And these are mounted on a pole. Yes. And then but, you cut the top off a propane tank to put on there so that they... Yeah, that'll be that'll be in the next segment of this video. I'll show you how I make the, the critter guard so that they can't climb up and get inside the box. And eat the, the eggs that we're trying to get the ducks to hatch. Yeah. Yeah, we try to give him. I can measure that hole up and get that done too while we're doing it. Nestle herself inside there, get down in the bottom, lay her eggs. The little ones will climb up, dive out, and into the creek they go. Yeah, because you put a mesh on the inside, that's how they can climb up. Yes, I got yes, I got to get some hardware cloth to take this apart, and I'll put it on the inside. Uh, if I use regular, like a pine board or a cedar board, I'll use the table saw and cut little sips in it about a quarter of an inch apart, so there's little grooves on the inside so they can get their little toenails in. They come up, they'll stand at the edge of the window, the door, whatever you want then to take call that, them. Take that leap. And yeah, <laughs> mama will call them and the little things will sit there. They don't want to jump and then all of a sudden, they're like little missiles. Yeah, yeah. it's pretty cool to watch. But help the, help the little creatures out the best I can. 
Well, as you can see, hunters are not only hunting, but they're also conservationists as well. We've got probably, I say we, Farmer Paul's probably got 12 or 14 of those boxes all around his farm, all along the creek banks, and every one of them have at least six or seven eggs in them every year. And he's hatching a lot of wood ducks out there. Anyway, we made our way to Bell River. Uh, we're just waiting for it to open up. We're going to go inside and see what the fishing show's like. I'm going to switch over to my phone because it's a little less inconspicuous. We'll see you inside. Well, that venue did not quite work out for us. But we're only about five minutes from Emeryville. And in Emeryville is LSC Pro Tackle. I've never been in there. We're going to go in there and have a look around and see what they got. Well, that worked out well. LSC Tackle in... Actually, LSC pro tackle in emeryville you guys get a chance to go in there go in there and have a look around it's a pretty cool place it got a lot of a lot of good selection in there i picked up uh some crappy bodies and something i've never seen before this is two lures on one for crappy as well also i picked up a new rod and reel a combo it wasn't that much money um if jen if you're watching it was not a lot of money at all i needed a second spinning rod so that's what I got. Anyway, we're pretty much done out here. Uh, I found out from LSC Pro Tackle that the fishing show was yesterday, not today. That's kind of how I roll. So we're going to head back home and carry on our day. And that is going to be about it for today's video. Uh, it wasn't what I thought I was going to bring you. However, the duck boxes were pretty cool. And again, we're giving back to the habitat, right? We got to give them a place to nest. I look at it this way if there are 10 eggs in that box and five hatch and you shoot two three keep moving if there's no box and there's 10 eggs the raccoons fox and coyotes will either eat all 10 or if they don't eat all 10 they might leave two one hatches you know what i mean we're trying to do our best we're giving them a place to be anyway that's all i got for today's video hope you all enjoyed that it wasn't what i thought it was going to be but I got some fish and tackle, and that works for me. See you on the next one. Later. Put that on a pipe, we'll get you pictures of it where I make the